there was talk a couple years ago about starting this radio station. And Kevin was on that team along with Karen Bauer and some other people. And so I had emailed Kevin when I first started working here saying, hey, we should do this, we should do this. And it kind of got put on the back burner. And then this year, for whatever reason, we finally said, now's the time. We need to do it now if we're going to do it. So that's kind of how that, that ended up happening. The, the whole process itself, you know, um, not intimidating at all, going and speaking to the group. I mean, everyone, they had questions and stuff, but we were prepared. Um, you know, I was kind of nervous afterwards, like, are we going to get the money? Are we not going to get the money? But it turned out we got more than what we asked for because we had only asked for funding for one year. But um, the WE team liked our project so much, they said, you know, we need to support this for two years to make sure we get up and running uh, adequately, you know, before we have to find money elsewhere. So that was a really good thing. Um, basically behind us, uh, the, the three computers, one of them will be the, the main computer that will play mo all of our songs off. We also actually have, uh, we have the capabilities to do out of studio live remotes, which we will be, which we will do to launch the station. We'll be able to take phone calls and requests and and maybe even have uh, down the road maybe a talk show where where people call in and and questions are answered and stuff like that. It's very exciting. I guess as it sits now, we're thinking about a two-credit experimental class that would include the mix, which is what the radio station is called, and then um, Mysticast. So it would be experience the broadcast part of it. You know, they would be broadcasting on the mix, and then. The broadcast part of the Mysticast, which you know, putting together a show. So at, at least that's how it's going to start. But really, the station is open to anyone on campus, uh, whether they're just, you know, want to fill in an hour slot here and there, once a month, whatever. Uh, we just right now can only have the studio open pretty much from eight to five, Monday through Friday. This does include staff and faculty also. Um, in the in the fall, we would like to see it. 100% student driven with us kind of in in the background uh, pulling the strings uh, but as far as the meat and potatoes of it we'd like we'd like it to be student run one of the nice things once it is student oriented is everyone has their own taste of music so whether that's country hip hop you know pop rock whatever it is students will be able to play what they like and and our station the mix. I mean, we're going to play a mix of music, and and that's kind of why we went that route. We'll also be we will also have the capabilities of rebroadcasting choral uh, performances, any of our band performances, uh, the conversations with Larry and Clay. Um, we'll we'll all be able to do that um, on top of playing music. The station is internet only. We'll be broadcasting 24-7. You know, if there's no one sitting in here, there will be always music or something happening. Mm -hmm.